What is keyframes? Keyframes are specific points in an animation timeline where certain properties of an object such as position, scale, or opacity are defined, allowing for smooth transitions between these points through interpolation. They are fundamental in animation and video production, enabling controlled and precise movements or transformations of elements. Chapter 1. Zoom in effect. Place the playhead at the beginning of the video, make a keyframe, now drag the playhead to the end of the track and just zoom in on the slider, and the keyframe will be made by itself. This is like zooming throughout the video and in the middle of it, but in the next effect we will zoom in a certain part of the video, but the animation will be faster. Click on the video and make a keyframe, but click both position and size together to get the animation right because two factors are at play, it's not just zoom. We did the animation by panning and zooming in the certain part of the video, but now be careful we're going to make the animation slide in a way, if you don't do it right, it won't look good. Choose one of these options, but you must put it in all the X, Y and position and scale parameters. I put the ease in option on all the parameters that are included in this video, except for the rotation option because it is not used at all in this video, if you don't do it that way you will get an error as shown a little while ago. I chose that option but you can choose which one you want, it just has to be for all the movements in the video if they are included in the same one, if for example you only zoom you can usually only put that option on a scale. This helps to make the animation slide just like the stone ball slide and stop slowly in the curling game. Zoom out is done in the same way but I didn't record it because the principle is the same. Chapter 2 Rotating The procedure is the same as the previous ways, only this you will go to the rotation section to rotate the video. I did it so that the whole video rotates less, but it can also be done for added elements of a video to animate such as a wheel, etc. Depending on your video, you will see how to do it. For more precision, you can modify the keyframes in the animate keyframe section. Don't miss the next effect where we animate an element to move and rotate. You've seen this type for sure on the internet. Chapter 3. Move Object for this effect you just make a keyframe at the beginning and then move the playhead with the mouse or with the insoles left or right on the keyboard. After each movement or rotation the keyframes will be created by themselves. At the end I wanted the plane to slowly arrive and stop as if it were gliding, and I did it with the help of show keyframe animation, but it is not mandatory by the way, I mentioned that way a few minutes ago. Chapter 4. Fake Camera Tracking Make a keyframe, zoom and move the keyboard arrows and with the mouse move the image so that the car is in the middle and the keyframes will be made by themselves if you move the playhead with the keyboard arrows. Chapter 5 Audio Ducking Make an empty keyframe, then move the playhead and lower the volume of the music, then move it a little more, then make another keyframe on the empty space and then increase the volume so that the line of the keyframes is like a trough. In Premiere Pro this option is called Audio Ducking. I recorded a video about it a few months ago, you can watch it here in the corner. There is an option where the presenter speaks automatically to reduce or increase the background music. The keyframes were created by themselves, but there is one problem, that is there are... You can also adjust the keyframes manually. Speaker. Chapter 6, Adjustment Keyframes How to make a video change to black and white? 
make a keyframe at the beginning and end or the part where you want the effect to be done, then slide the saturation slider. This way you can do any effect from the adjustment section. Chapter 7, Change Opacity. I won't talk much here. If you watch the whole video, you probably already know how to make keyframes. The same principle applies to opacity. There is another way to use keyframes. Click on this video to learn how to do this effect. This video is the most viewed video on my channel so far. Subscribe to my channel and like the video. I hope I helped you a little bit in learning how keyframes work.